What's up, everybody? This is Brian. I'm here with Vince and Israel. Uh, it's been a little while since we've done a video, uh, so I, we thought we would maybe record more than one today to trickle out to you, uh, in case anybody's watching. <laughs> uh, I just came back from the Festival of Hell's Heroes, and that was uh, pretty awesome. That was mm -hmm. over in Houston. Uh, if you're not familiar with Hell's Heroes... It's a it's a festival that's themed in kind of old school metal, so it's not like a, a death metal or a thrash metal or black metal, mm -hmm. kind of like a lot of traditional metal, but includes some of that stuff. Uh, so it was pretty awesome. Uh, it was two days plus a pre party. Uh, uh, how many years have they had it now? This was the fifth one. Oh, okay. Fifth year. Okay. Wow. Well, yeah, the fifth it's one. been around for a little while, and this was in so just about a, last week, right? Yeah. You were yeah. gone for a few days. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> So you, you talk about the pre-party, um, you I know you caught some of that for sure. Uh, Triumph of Death, which was Hellhammer, yeah. and kind of throwing all that, how was that? So that was Trypticon playing Hellhammer songs, that was on the pre-party, and that was awesome. Uh, you know, they, they dressed wearing the, you know, the, the makeup out of the eyes, and the inverted crosses, and they shit loads of fog on stage. Um, it was awesome, and it was like, you know, all the hit songs. Mm -hmm hit from the, from that uh yeah. <laughs> those i guess demos uh and that was awesome and also opened up for them was violence who i'd never seen before they cancel all the time they cancel all the time <laughs> they didn't cancel this time though <laughs> oh they delivered though fuck oh, yeah yeah they live up to the name violence oh man cool uh yeah but that was awesome that that was only inside like the the indoor uh which is not the size of house of blues oh okay uh, then the main days was just day like the main day, Friday, Friday and Saturday. Those were inside there and outside in the big outdoor stage that they have, which is pretty big. I understand, uh, both the pre party and the fest itself was sold out, right? I'm not sure the fest itself was sold out, but pre party definitely was. Oh, okay. Yeah. Uh, the fest looked like it could have squeezed more people in. The problem is that the outdoor stage holds like tons of people. And there was uh, bands that would be like, okay, one playing outdoor, one indoor, and it would go back and forth. And all those outdoor people can't really fit in the indoor. Oh, wow. <laughs> with okay. moving back and forth. I mean, <laughs> so they, you kind of have to go early. They, they wanted, could, wanted but to, you'd yeah. have to stand in the back, but which, which is fine. Yeah. But, yeah, uh, if it wasn't sold out, it seemed like it was pretty close to being one. Oh, okay. So the main bands, uh, from what I saw in the, in the advertisement, were Possessed. Yeah, Razor, uh, Leech Lord. I saw the Exciter play there as well. Exciter played, yeah. Um, yeah. And a bunch of other cool shit that we'll be talking about. Yeah. Um, talk to us a little bit about day one and what you saw, if you can recall a little bit. <laughs> yeah. So basically, from my point of view, like I was taking a lot of photos because that they were kind enough to give me a photo pass. Um, it was one big party. Like I, I partied so fucking hard. <laughs> Uh, yeah, thanks to my travel partner, Jeff, for, uh, partying just as hard as I did. Uh, but yeah, it was a lot of fun. It was just everybody getting along. Uh, I've been to other metal festivals. It kind of depends on what genre of, subgenre of mm. metal it is, whether people get along good or not sometimes, or people act up. People were respectful and kind, and it was really cool. That's um, always really good. Yeah, so they, they were... From the pre-party, for the second I stepped in the pre-party until the end, it was uh, just a great experience. That's awesome. Cool. The pre-party was at the same um, venue? Mm-hmm. The White Oak Music Hall. Uh, and one thing kind of special about this year that they didn't have at least last year was after parties planned by, by the organizers. So right next to White Oak Music Hall is a place called the Ravens Tower. Oh, okay. And it's like a bar. And they had after parties planned there with metal DJs and stuff like that. And we raided that place. It was so packed. It was crazy. <laughs> it was wild. But yeah, then after that, after that closed, we went to back to the hotel. And that's I, We stayed at the Heights House Hotel. Mm -hmm. And that was a party till who knows when. <laughs> so no sleep. It was crazy. Yeah, no sleep. Uh, cool. But tons of fun. No, yeah, absolutely. I mean, when you're at a festival like that, you... <clears throat> You want to kind of squeeze in as much fun as you can. Yeah. You, I, I wouldn't think you really think about sleep. No. Um, and sleep you're kind later. Of, yeah, you're running on adrenaline most of the time, and you want to catch as many bands as possible. Um, one that I, I mean, 
also on the bill were Night Demon, mm-hmm. Visigoth, uh, some of the kind of like the, I guess, quote unquote, newer old school style kind of bands. Yeah. Uh, Pagan Altar, did you get to catch them? Yeah, so Pagan Altar, since their original singer Terry passed away, uh, they got a new singer. He's an American dude, and uh, because it, Pagan Altar are from the UK. Uh, he's an American dude. He's also the singer of uh, Summerland. Oh, great. Yeah, yeah. Who's, uh, you know, pretty awesome, too. They didn't play, but, you know, he's he's got a reputation. He's a great singer. Probably the perfect fill-in, I think, for Terry. Oh, that's cool. And Visigoth, of course, killed it. Yeah. That was my first time seeing them, and they were awesome. Yeah, one of those bands that I, I definitely want to catch one of these days, but yeah. they are an amazing band. Uh, and our good friends, Night Demon, caught up they with They uh, killed it. I almost got kicked in the head by uh, <laughs> the guitar player, Armand, uh, came out, and I was not paying attention, like, looking at my camera, and felt the wind from a kick, and his foot was up in the air, <laughs> <laughs> which, oh, was, which was which was great. So, yeah, they yeah. killed it. Uh, Woke you up. Yeah. They got into a few of the new songs from the Outsider new album, yeah. uh, which was great. Uh, yeah, they were awesome. So... Get ready when they play here in San Diego. It's gonna be pretty amazing. It's gonna be crazy. Um, what are the other bands that I that really drew my attention on the flyer was Riot City, um, mm-hmm. and from Canada, I believe. Yeah. Um, did you get to to catch their set? Yeah. Oh man. Yeah. So, uh, Jared, who used to do the SCMetal.org with me, I met up with him there, and he's he was staying at the same hotel uh, as we were, and I texted him. He's like, I'm gonna go and see Riot City, even though they're playing first. On Saturday, which everybody's like, oh. <laughs> How early was that? It wasn't that early, but 2 o'clock or something. That, <laughs> that's, come on. Oh, man. <laughs> 2 o'clock, yeah. Yeah, so I'm like, all right, let's get let's eat some Mexican food, head to cab, and go down there. And uh, Riot City killed. Yeah. Yeah. Was there a lot of different hotels in the, close by? Or? Uh, yeah, and a lot of people did Airbnbs, too. Oh okay. Oh, yeah, cool. our hotel I think that had like at least like two hundred rooms. Oh wow, and that was totally sold out like months in advance. Uh, yeah, it, it seems like there's plenty of places to stay there. Mm-hmm. Now this festival is set up by by I, I remember you told me about this, but this is somebody who's in a band, right? Right. Uh, yeah, it's Christian. He's in the band uh, Night Cobra. Ah, yeah, Night Cobra. Yeah, yeah. So he he sets it up, and. Uh, they do a good job. Mm. Yeah, they do a real good job. It's this. I went last year too. This year felt more organized. Uh, so, so yeah, they did. They did a good job. Mm, okay. Any any merch? Uh, I didn't bring back any. I didn't have that much money. Oh. <laughs> yeah. I, I I got the VIP package this year, so that came with the shirt, oh. uh, poster. The VIP also comes with a. You get like your own like lounge room there. That's like has the best AC in the whole, like, area, and uh, comes with, like, free snacks and f- and a free dinner and stuff, so the VIP has seemed worth it to me. That's pretty good, man. You should throw yeah. all that in there. Is there much of a price difference from the regular? Yeah, I think it was, like, I think it was 200 bucks. Okay. But it's worth it, you know, especially when you're old like me, and you gotta, like, relax your legs <laughs> once in a while. <laughs> you gotta take a little... A little, uh, you know, rest. Yeah, and... yeah. You got your own private bar. Uh, you got, like, balconies uh, that you can watch the outdoor uh, stage from, too. Oh, wow. That's badass. So. Yeah. Um, and you can pick up your, your like, shirt and poster any time, so, so you don't have to haul it the whole day. Oh, okay. Yeah. So, wow. uh, yeah, it was it was well done. Yeah, they emailed me what size you want. You know, I felt, I felt quadruple X, and they, they obliged. <laughs> and they had it. Yeah, okay. yeah, yeah. Sasquatch size. Yeah. <laughs> Did you get to catch Silver Talon? On the pre-fest, Mm-mm. no, no. I think they they were they were either conflicting. They weren't conflicting with anybody. Were they on the the pre-party? Pre-fest, yeah. See, the problem with the pre-fest is that was all in the main room, and they were using multiple stages. But the second stage was up in the little room where we had our VIP. Oh, and it would fill up so fast. Yeah, yeah. No, I didn't get to catch them. I wanted to though. Yeah. So this ran from Thursday to. Saturday when it, when it ended? Yeah. Oh, wow. Saturday night. Yeah. Uh, Thursday, if you include the pre-fest. But yeah. Yeah, yeah it, was, it was awesome. Uh, I recommend it to anybody that's into that kind of metal. Um, I, I have a feeling next year they're going to branch out even more to not just, you know, they, they were branching out this year, 
you know, possession isn't exactly the same, you know, right? Yeah, and all that <laughs> stuff. Uh, neither is Celtic Frost, so it's going to branch out even more. Um, because yeah, the traditional metal thing is kind of pigeonholed right now. Um, so yeah, we'll see what what they do next year. Very cool. Um, did you get to catch Ross the Box? I was going to say, did he play? Yeah, yeah, I watched a little bit of it. Oh, cool. Yeah, it was just weird seeing somebody else sing those songs. Right? <laughs> yeah, it was kind of weird. I did catch some, uh, uh, meet a couple there where the, uh, the woman was wearing a metal swap meet shirt. Oh, shit. Yeah, right so on, I, I came up and, and said hi to them and thanked them. That was really cool. Very cool. Yeah. It's always, it's always good to run into people. With yeah, they didn't even know I was going to be there. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> they weren't expecting anything from free. Yeah, right. Well, so that was cool. I'm glad they didn't because we get, we don't have much to give away. Yeah. Uh, but that's really cool. <laughs> um, the weather in Texas, how was it? So it was like kind of overcast and a little bit drizzly. The the Friday, the Saturday was, it felt like brutal hot, even though it was probably like 83. Really. But it felt really hot. Humidity yeah. or? Yeah, humidity. Oh, wow. Okay. It, I don't that, think it. That I don't, Houston? I guess you, I guess Houston, Houston never there. not has humidity being there mm-hmm. in the Gulf of Mexico. Oh, shit. Yeah. <laughs> but yeah, it wasn't like unbearable, but like when you're sitting there with the sun in your face, you're doing this thing, it's, yeah, it gets kind of hot. Yeah. But I actually brought sunblock. I mean, it's one of the only smart things I've done. <laughs> <laughs> uh, what was your favorite uh, band? The festival, uh, you think? I think Visigoth. Visigoth. Yeah, okay. Visigoth. It's uh, it's just like a band that's kind of still fresh in my mind, you know, as opposed to like Liege Lord, which is a band I've heard for a long time, but I'm not like haven't listened to a lot recently. Mm-hmm. Uh, yeah, Visigoth are awesome. Mm-hmm. It's just uh, it feels like I've been waiting to see them a while and lived up to it. Yeah, badass. Yeah, so it was cool. So yeah, if you get a chance to go, and that that sounds like something you'd be into. Uh, go because I would say it's fifty percent of the fest is kind of community. You know, it's just people hanging out. Nobody's having a bad time. Nobody's being an asshole. Uh, yeah, just yeah. Of, looking at the pictures, it seemed like everybody was just enjoying themselves and videos that people were posting left and right. It just seemed like a big party. Yeah, so yeah. That's always good to see at a metal fest. No bad vibes. Yeah, yeah. No bad vibes. <laughs> yeah. And it, and and it, maybe it has something to do with the, the whole you know old school kind of heavy metal kind of thing. I you see a lot of, of the younger crowd kind of getting into it. They seem to be very loose about it, yeah. without attitudes, and and they seem to be very. Yeah. Uh, was it all ages too? Uh, I I want to say it. I did see a few youngsters around there, but they had like some kind of like special wristbands or something. So I'm not sure. Oh okay. I'm not sure on that. Yeah. If they were special exceptions or something. But, yeah, I don't know. That part I don't know. Could have been. Who knows? Since I'm so old, I don't think about that. <laughs> <laughs> Very cool. Well, Hell's Heroes, uh, traditionally it's done in March, right? Yeah. March, yeah, okay. the last two years. I don't know about the first three years I didn't attend those. Yeah. Uh, but it was a lot of fun. So the more people we could get out there, especially our audience, mostly in Southern California, yeah. the better. But, but I did see tons of people from... Uh, San Diego and LA. And what is that? Two three hour flight from uh, San Diego. I was like, yeah, like th- three hours and twenty minutes yeah. or so on a direct flight. Yeah, yeah and it's it's always good to support these these festivals, especially when they start getting that momentum and they're good and you know good pricing and and it seems to be like the crowd there is really you know really there for the fun of it. Um, yeah. It's good to support this this these types of events because they they do bring out. Uh, Really good bands. Plus, they, they start you know they start growing and, and you know the more festivals we have in, in the U S the better. I mean some of these start to compete with some of the European festivals, so um, it's good to bring that whole vibe uh, to the U S festivals too. And I'm, I'm not sure I would go to another festival unless they organized an after party because that was a huge difference maker. Because yeah. <laughs> like the year before, everybody's like, well, let's just hang out at the hotel lobby and stuff. Right. Like, uh, th- since this was organized, it's just like it felt like it. Ca- like you get more out of it, like right, like a better value. Oh, cool. like 